In episode two of True Detective Night Country, we learned that one of the eight scientists who disappeared from the research center was not under the ice like the others. And another was still alive, although missing a couple of joints thanks to the poor handling of the police officers. Now, HBO Max has a trailer for the third episode where details about the fate of these two researchers are revealed. Let's do a breakdown of the trailer to see what will happen in the third episode of Night Country. The episode 3 trailer starts with police officers gathering around in the area where the researchers were found. Since Raymond Clark was the only one who came out of this incident alive, he is now the prime suspect and everyone is looking for him. It looks like during the search, Navarro sees someone. From the shot in the trailer, I can't really tell who that person is. It looks like a man holding something, maybe a dead animal that he hunted. Of course, Navarro chases him while we don't see who the person is. Here, I want to refer back to the official season 4 trailer where a different man was seen wearing any case coat, which makes me think Raymond Clark left it somewhere and this man stole it. I don't seem to remember who this man is. If you know, please tell me in the comments below. I think Navarro will see this mysterious man and think that it's Clark because of the coat, but it won't be him. The next scene of the trailer shows Navarro and Danvers working on the case together. They are looking at the evidence from Clark's trailer. All the pictures and the belongings there clearly indicate that these two were in a secret relationship, but Danvers and Navarro question why they would keep such a relationship a secret. Then, Danvers looks at a photograph of Annie K, a photo we've seen in the first episode of the season. It has Annie with a coal covering her mouth which probably happened during one of her protests against a mining company. Episode 2 made it obvious that the works of the miners caused the water of the area to go bad, and as an activist, NEK would try and fight against this. Another scene shows Denvers and Navarro traveling together. It looks like Navarro is overwhelmed with the experiences of her life and she just wants to disappear. At one point, Denvers finds a small blue house with lights on, which could be where Clark is hiding out. The next scenes of the trailer are a bit confusing. It seems Navarro and Denver's child, Holden, are together. This could be a hallucination scene, but it could also explain the death of Holden and Navarro's connection to it. We also see her waking up on ice, which makes me think she's got lost during the search for Raymond Clark. A new character appears in the next scene. He's most likely the forensic specialist Denver's wanted Pete to call in the previous episode. He says, this is not how you die in the cold, which means that the researchers died because of something other than hypothermia. My theory that a form of bacteria they found in the water may have caused them to act in hysteria could work here, we'll see. The trailer continues with quick shots of various characters. There's Navarro and her sister Jules, she probably had another episode as there seems to be a blanket around her and she looks like she just cried. Denver's stepdaughter, Leah, also makes an appearance. She has not wiped her indigenous tattoo. While searching for Clark, the police also comes across a few men with tents, who have guns by the way. I'm curious to find out who they are. More Navarro and Denver's on the lookout. Denver's running into the hospital. The guy in the coma must be awake. I didn't have much hope to be honest, considering he would have to get his arm amputated and all that. You can even see Denver's asking him what happened that night on the ice but she seems to be shouting and looks angry. I'm guessing the man is about to die and that's why she was running, to get one or two words from him about that night. He could be dying as she's asking the big question. It could be a cliche, but he'll probably die either without saying anything or only saying one word that will help with the investigation. The rest of the trailer shows a protest, most likely against a mining company since the water of the town is not drinkable anymore. There's a man with a gun threatening Navarro. We don't know who he is yet. So another character that will be introduced in the third episode. More Navarro and Denver's as we hear the latter's voice in the hospital asking the researcher, who came for you? We all know she won't get an answer to that question. The trailer ends here. I think episode three will be about the look for Clark. They will probably find him at the end of the episode. Throughout the process, we'll learn more about any case past and how the researchers died. More focus will be on Jules' episodes and the protests against a mining company. While Denver's will deal with the man at the hospital, Navarro will be on a search on her own. 
it looks like we'll find out more about their past as well. I'm quite excited for what's to come. Tell me what you thought about the trailer in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to next season for more. See you soon.